Hey guys, welcome to Figment XR. This is my test video to see how it records in VR using a Quest 2. Yes, that's right. I'm using this software on a Quest 2, not a Quest Pro, as you can see by the black and white. But let me tell you, it's still fun. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to load up a scene. All right, so we're going to load up a scene here. Okay. Still learning all the menus. Uh, I don't know if you can label the scenes because I don't know what 0108 is. So let's hope it's this. Oh, things have moved around on me. And they're still loading. I'm a hoarder. What can I say? All right. Let me just replace these guys. Keep when stuff's out of place in real life. In a mixed reality, I'm the same way. No, it's this tree. The box for it is freaking huge. Whoever did the 3D model took up way too much space. See how this has got a box around it? Well, that's adequate to the space of the model. This thing has went overboard. Its box is like way out like this. All right. Where'd my coffee cup go? That's like a little game I get to play every time I log into my world. Where's my coffee cup? Disappears. There it is. It's way in the back. I don't drink coffee, though. You can't see with this Quest 2, but that's a monster can. All right, so here we are. Um, I put screens on my monitors. I can play them at any time. I got to buy off. I just put some of my videos up because I don't want to get some copyright infringement. I don't know how this works yet with YouTube. I figure I can't be charged for playing my own stuff. Yeah, all the monitors work. I got the sound disabled. I can only play one monitor at a time, though. I don't know if that's because I'm on Quest 2. So Quest Pro users, if you're playing with this, let me know if you can run multiple screens at once, because that would be cool. And I love all these little gifts. As you can tell, I'm a, I'm a hoarder. I got them everywhere. And I love Deadpool. It's just the greatest. And then this is the game that really got me hooked into VR, Astrobot on my uh, PSVR here. They got Thor's hammer. Got some Naruto characters battling out. It was a T-Rex with a sweater. I had to get it. I don't know what that is, but it comes with the software. Same with this. I drew some fire coming in. A little astronaut, Link, the princess, Naruto. Neo Geo arcade machine. We got the Doom. Guys coming down my stairwell. This around. We got Magneto and Loki's helmets on top of my computer. Sword Art Online. Miss Marvel. Good old Deadpool. This game. This app is great. I can't call it a game. House of the Dead arcade machine. Pretty sweet. Freddy Krueger. The TARDIS. Some Iron Man, Mega Man, Iron Man again on my big screen. You can see my actual collection, Chucky, Ed 209, the leg lamp, my little TARDIS. That thing's nothing compared to this TARDIS. If I had the money to get stuff like this, I'd have a room like this. Ah, my Avengers carpet. This is sweet. This is my little meditation spot. I had vines and stuff all painted up the wall, but I forgot to save it. Always save your scene. That's one thing I got to say. Save often. Because it sucks when you put a lot of work into something and you forget. 
I have to redo that. I was bummed out, man. And then instead of the bathroom door, I have the Twilight Zone door. Got a little Star Wars scene. These are all models I downloaded for free. I'll show you where. This is just cool. It's, I don't know, it just looked awesome. I had to have it. Some He Man, that's the coolest He Man I could find. Guys that make these gifts, I need a cool He Man. Twilight Zone, Thundercats, Avengers again. Yeah, this app is great. And you could do more with it than just, oh, my dice fell. Hoarding items like me. You could set it up for a work environment. A uh, relaxing game of mini golf. Actually, I'll show you some of those features. All right, before I show you those features, I'm going to show you. All right, so this is my collection. Let's see here. Samples. Oh, there we go. Let's start with this. This is models. So, samples is all the stuff that came with it, like the dice coffee cup that keeps moving. This thing is alive, I swear. It's a game finding it each time. That little character. Uh, I think the dragon I got off another site. Spaceman. We'll close that. These are all the things I've collected for free. And you create basically different little lockers to store them in. Oh, this is the 3D models, the GIF animations, um, the YouTube screens, all of it. It all saves in here. And then here is all your scenes that you've saved. You can have multiple scenes. So I can set this up. This is my fun little entertainment scene. I can have one up that's just for work where I have my Reddit screens and stuff like that. And yeah, it's... It's your environment, you set it up how you want. But yeah, I'll show you Discovery. All right, it's just grabbing it off the internet. So this is the Figment page. These are other people's scenes that they've made and uploaded. Now it'll replace your current scene. So make sure your scene is saved. That's another time I accidentally deleted the scene, all my progress as I swapped scenes. Did not express saving. All right, um, these little ones are like characters. We'll bring one into the world here. Some of them float in space, some of them don't. I haven't made any yet, so I don't know how it works, but you could pick it up, move it around. Now, I can't use hand tracking because I have. As you can see, really bad lighting down here. It's track lighting. And there's too many dead zones for my hands. But this would be so much better if I could use my hands to actually move it around. But yeah, you can turn it, move it. You can pretty much do everything with the controller. And then you can also resize it to whatever you want. And then if you like it, you can save it to your collection or delete it. So it's really neat. And there's tons of content and there's always new stuff coming. And that's just the Figment page. This is GIFs. So we'll type in I just know this one works, so it's just on it. Yeah, we can grab this. Position it, size it to what we want, and boom, yeah, you type in whatever you want, search for it, there is so much content. If you're a hoarder like me, you will have so much stuff saved. And then for the 3D models, oh wow, there's 3D models in the Rito. All right, so yeah, I had to sign into my Sketchfab account, Fab account. If you don't have one, it tells you how to do it. You just log on to their webpage on your PC. It takes a few seconds. 
email, username, password, the usual stuff, and boom. You got access to tons of cool 3D models. Like, here, we're going to grab this Naruto. I'm a hoarder. I got to have it. All right. I'm running out of space. Need a bigger house just for this app. Oh, he's not wearing his headband. But yeah, so. Oh, see, yeah, the boxes are colliding. Gotta remember there's a box around these models. They're not just the shape of the model, unfortunately. Maybe someday we'll be there. All right, so I want to save that. Ooh, I got to start another box. <laughs> yeah, there's tons of 3D models. And then for videos. All right, we'll just grab anyone. I apologize, you start off loud. The Naruto fandom has had a video. Years. The show ended in 2017 to fair to middling review. People were upset over moderate. Right. Yeah, you basically see how the video works. I don't know if I'm going to actually get a cartoon clip. There we go. It's got to be time for us to fight then. But who are we fighting against? So you can watch YouTube videos while you're in here. Itachi Uchiha? Nanato? And it looks great. With yeah. This is using a Quest 2, remember. These Quest Pro users. Wow, I could just imagine what you're experiencing. What you're saying is my chakra mode. You what? I see it in your face. All right. Have you actually done it? Have you been able to over that? So, yeah. And then there's also this. So you can do text, sketching. There's just so much to do with this app. It's unbelievable. But uh, you can write in 3D space. And if you're really good, I've seen people like create 3D objects. Like there's some amazing artwork on this that people have made that you can walk through like a forest. And it was all done with paint strokes like this. So yeah, definitely if you're into art, this is amazing doing it in mixed reality. It's just wow. Tons of different brushes. Okay, close this. So yeah, create, learn, there's tutorials, so you can learn your collection. If you're a hoarder like me, this sack is good to be like Santa's sack. Do you remember if you're using a Quest 2? Uh, I guess the Quest Pro, you're only limited to 256 as well. But it will eat up space the more you collect. All right, so what we're going to do, scene, I always save my scene after losing it. This is the camera. Set it up to capture whatever you want. So I just added the Naruto. So I'll remember it's my newest one. And save it there. And boom, the scene saved. Now let me show you some of the scenes. Come with it. All right, sample. Tilt brush. That is the name I was trying to remember for the art program. This is powered by Tilt Brush, which is an amazing free app for the Quest 2. I believe it's out for the Quest Pro as well. Works with Quest 1 too, so all Quest systems, I'm pretty sure. And it is unbelievable. Like, just look up Tilt Brush on YouTube and you'll see some amazing work. All right, so this is loading a new scene. See, this is what I'm talking about Tilt Brush, man. Someone took brush stroke after brush stroke to make this tree and walking around of it in my own VR room is just amazing. I love this. It's just unbelievable. Like, look at this artwork. Wow, oh, there's a bird painting. 
And there's so much great tilt brush artwork out there that's already created. You have to see. And you can even add to this scene. Like we go to create, sketch, green. Some other leaves. But yeah, you can do your own thing in here. All right. Show you another scene. There we go. This is really cool if you're for a teacher or anyone that's trying to explain science or like, this is awesome. I like to see the whole solar system. That'd be really cool. But this is just a sample scene. Um, this is neat. All right, I'm just gonna move this. So it's like a little shoe store, but uh. Pick the shoe. Boom! Look at the size of that. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. It's a nice little scene. Let's hear it. So this is a cool little thing where you can like use your collected little models and stuff that you have to put in here. Again, you can alter them. Uh, go into here. Thought for sure he would stay on there. Apparently not. So you want the ones that float. He's staying on some of it. Here, I got some floating ones. Got to load the image into it. Ooh, that's really big. There we go. Added a lawn gnome to it. So yeah, it's, you can interact with the scenes you get. They're really cool. And if you like it, save it. All right, so we'll close this. Back to no collection. You still learned in the menus. Ah, uh, this one's neat. Let's get our thing out of here. Put that by Chucky. All right, so we have this cup. Here's where I'd love to use the hand tracking. He dumped the marbles. And I think we need it about here. We're going to race through. I'd love to learn how to create stuff like this. I think I got one. I got one. And we'll go to the final scene. Some mini putt. Back in the 70s and 80s, well, you didn't get a mini putt like this, but little mini putt things like with the hole at the end for people in their office was a big thing. Now you can have the whole little cool mini putt course. So yeah, there's so much you can do with this app. Like even if you don't have a Quest Pro, it is super enjoyable on the Quest 2. If you love AR, mixed reality, and this is just, it's for you. 
and the limits. Oh, geez, I really suck. Or your imagination. Like, there's so much you can do with this. All right. And again, you can add things to this if you want it as well. Go to collection. There we go. Now we got a big Mega Man in there. And I'd resave the scene. And if I wanted, I could totally Mega Man theme the hell out of this. But yeah, it's just, as I said, your mind's the limit. All right. Oh, to load your scene, go to collection, scenes. I believe I saved it in here. Yep, there's the Naruto. All right, so here we are back in my scene. Uh, yeah, that's all for now. This is just a test video. Hopefully it turned out. And uh, I'll see you all later with a better video.